Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Eric for Zimmy62 with some Raider news. All right, so you guys apparently know what happened against the LA Chargers over the weekend, last weekend, in week three. Raiders fall 24 to 17. That wasn't the highlight of the weekend or what's been going on this year with this Raiders team. Uh, you had a fan who was sitting over there, standing over there next to where um, Mark Davis was. Um, and the fan was heckling uh, extremely uh, loud to Mark Davis, uh, fire Josh McDaniels. <laughs> and Mark Davis, you know, sat there and and took it. But then after a while, Mark Davis turned around and, and then back to that fan and said, um, and said, uh, be smart, be smart. Okay. Here's the problem with Mark. <laughs> Since he's taken over his, his, his dad's team, Al, the late great Al Davis. One playoff appearance. Um, um, 2016, Carr had his best year, made a playoff run then. Um, to me... The issue is not even not even Dave Ziegler because he's barely new um, as a GM for the Raiders. Okay, second year. Um, but the problem with Mark Davis is, in my opinion, he doesn't have football people around him. Okay, people who know how to run a, a football franchise. Um, Josh McDaniels, uh, I think. Josh McDaniels makes things a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, especially on offense. Um, case in point, when you're on the goal line of the Chargers in, in the third quarter, fourth quarter, and fourth quarter, you're down 24 to 10. Uh, you don't even at least go for a field goal. Uh, you run a couple of vanilla plays and, and get the ball back to the char Chargers. That's the thing. Mark hired McDaniels because McDaniels is supposed to be this guru of a coach. And he's not. He is not. I am out on McDummy. I call him McDummy. Mark, you need to smart up. Because there's 20 seasons or longer of losing. Your dad would not your dad probably is rolling in his grave right now, okay? You need to get out of your own way because you're not going to sell the team. You need to get out of your own way and get football people around you. Somebody like a Amy Trask, okay? Even though Amy did not want to work with with you. But you need to get football people around you. And fans that are fed up with this crap, why should we take it? Why should we sit there and watch a trash product for the last 20 seasons or longer and go into a new season every other year expecting the same different results when it's not? It's like you're it's like when you go to a movie theater and you pay for a bad ticket, a bad movie to go see a bad movie every week. And and I, like I said Josh, he does not know how to get out of his own way. He makes the game complicated okay complicated when it doesn't even have to be if i am as, as a fan to sit there and watch this offense run their plays even when they had car and figure out what they were going to do in the first three drives what makes you think the defenses in the nfl i ain't going to figure out your offense josh Mc, McD mcdummy you need to change your offensive schemes you need to adjust better in games and this is my message to mark you cannot you cannot be upset when fans are raider fans raider nation is fed up raider nation we deserve better yes we do my suggestion to you guys hit it in the pocketbook for mark davis if you're fed up with this product that is being put on the field you can still rock your Raider colors. You can still claim to be Raiders. Don't go to the games. Don't go to the games. That's going to hurt Mark Davis in his pocketbook. Don't go to the games. If you're tired of seeing 
this on the football field. Don't go to the games, okay? So, yeah, we're fed up with this, Mark Davis. We are fed up. We've been more loyal Raider fans than before you were even born, okay? So you need to change. This commitment to losing is not commitment to, to winning or just win, baby, all right? That's my rant.